actually can't. Oh, I know. You know what? I would do it together. Oh, no! I want this back! Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, I thought I would do a video today all about the spring pieces that I personally love for the season. This is one of my, outside of fall, I think this is probably one of my favorite times of the year because it is the time when you're starting to see pieces in the shops and online just prettier in general to wear and you can just like shed off all those kind of winter heavy puffer jackets and coats and big boots and scarves and all those layers. Some favorites that I have as well as what I have seen online I'll be popping them up on the screen either on this side or that side. I hope my suggestions serve as a spring capsule wardrobe for you so you can help get an idea of the essential pieces that I would consider for spring. Anyway, I'm just going to get going. Sorry, stop waffling so much. Okay, so first up is beaded bags. Oh, by the way, look at this. This is a prime example of what I'm telling you about. You no, know, it's just you start to like look at all your colourful pieces. I know this is transparent, but I don't give a shit. I actually like it like that. Um, I think if you've got like a really pretty bra on, I think this looks really nice. I so pretty together but this I found from the Manhattan Vintage Show but if I find anything just like it I'm gonna link it down for you below but god why do they just wink that's like Wayne Goss anyway um, and the jeans as well are from a gold but anyway enough about this for now um, the first thing I'm gonna kick off with are beaded bags they are still here and I love that um, I I cannot tell you how much I, I love them. My favorite, as you already know, is the Shrimps Antonia bag, which I got last summer, and I wore this thing to death. Look at that, for obvious reasons. This is instantly an outfit, in my opinion. I could so wear the two of these together. Just going, I love, look at that. I definitely got my money's worth with this bag because the love I have for this is clearly not waning. And I still think it looks as beautiful today as it is the day I bought it. And I love it as much, if not more, because with time, I just look at it. It's got memories now, because I remember we're going out with it, the different outfits I've worn with it. Anyway, I still highly recommend the Shrimps Antonia bag. Of course, because it did so well, you know what brands are. They start to come up with other colors and variations in it. But my love has always been for the beautiful white one, because as I've told you before, white is like a black it's a neutral it goes with everything i have quite a few beaded bags i mean you lot already know i have also the mango one which is beautiful i like that it's wood round wood balls and it's just you know the whole thing is that i think it's such a beautiful simple um, bag for the spring and for the summer um i've already been wearing it even though it's still officially winter time i just think it's such a beautiful bag i like to clash stuff like this like even with this outfit it works doesn't it yeah, it does, see? But a lot of you have been telling me on Instagram that this looks like the Malteser bag. So, you're right, it does look like Maltesers. If you are British, you'll understand what I'm saying. Also, as you already know before from the Manhattan Vintage Show, um, this is a bright lime green, and I ended up finding uh, more of them on Etsy, and you lot bought them, and you send me pictures on Instagram going, oh, I got it too, I love it. And it is a great bag. I wouldn't mind getting it another colour, because it's really, really pretty. Here's a little close-up of it. See how it opens up so pretty but I've got to say to you that look mine's got a little area here where it's coming undone but I love this bag and the color of it is just so bang on so I'll see if I can get that fixed the black Zara beaded bag as well I'll just put it on the screen for you I won't run over and grab it um, more recently uh, I have had my hands on this shrimps bag now I'm working with Shopbop and I saw this bag and I used it for a shoot and I it's the yellow that got me and just that's I'm gonna put it against me because I'm it can pop against something darker but I just love that simple shape of it it's just so cool so I don't know I, this is one of those things that I'm really kind of I wish I didn't see it in a way because I really like it I saw it in black and white because it comes in that color as well and I'll put it on the screen for you but I do really like this color look how good that looks anyway I like this bag I have to return it unfortunately but I am seriously considering investing in this bag because you know how much I love that Antonia bag and how much I've been using it and I wouldn't mind another bright sidekick to it that is not a vintage bag breaking down on me um, like the green one has. The only issue with vintage is that they tend to be delicate especially if you like me you like to get beaded bags. They do have the propensity to possibly um, 
do like the green one did and bags like this don't like the shrimps one this is as hard as knocks you know this is not breaking down on me it stays exactly the same so in terms of like my cost per wear I can really like use it and get my my money's worth out of it and not worry that it's too delicate it's going to fall to pieces um, and I feel that way about the construction of this one so I don't know watch this space but there is a possibility that I might I might actually get this bag for myself because I really do like it anyway comment down below of what you think yes or no should I get it oh god you know I love yellow as well <laughs> denim is year round really but I do believe that it is an essential part to me as a basic for your capsule wardrobe for spring because it's a nice way to make anything sort of more casual and to kind of juxtapose against all the sugary sweet colors that you're starting to see come out so for me i like to switch to a light or a medium wash and these kind of jeans look like a me this is my typical definition of a medium wash these are a gold i'll put them on the screen or i'll link them below um, i love these jeans so much they are a bit on the pricey side that's the only thing these were gifted to me but it's something that now i've tried them on i will actually probably look into investing into another pair uh, in a different wash, a different colour, maybe a black pair or something like that. It behaves like and creases, if that makes any sense here, like a Levi or a vintage jean. So outside of like finding like your perfect Levi vintage jeans or something, this to me is one of the best ones I have found on the upper end of the market. And the reason why I picked this kind of colour like, is because I think it's a nice way to a contrast against anything that's lighter, right? Like. I don't know, I just picked the bag, obviously. But you're during the spring, you start to wear lighter colours, right? So I think this complements that very well, if that makes any sense, right? And that will apply to like any blouses that you wear, because you're starting to transition into lighter colours, lighter hues. And this is a nice base for that to happen. Sticking with denim, but moving on to a jacket or outerwear, um, another spring piece that I think is an absolute essential for a capsule wardrobe is a good jacket. Now, I've got a couple of spring jackets I'm going to show you in this video. Picked up this fantastic jacket. Look at this. Oh, this patchwork jacket is just, it's so flipping good. Anyway, so I got this. I love it. I think it's so retro. It's perfect. Scream 70s. It's clean, but it does have markings, markings on it. And I don't care. I actually, because I love, you know me, because I love vintage and thrift and stuff, I don't care if I see like stuff like that on it. I think it just adds a bit of character. I put it on for you. And I asked you a lot on night of the poll on my Instagram stories. I said, would you think yes or no? And most of you said no. But I still took it anyway because I loved it so much. Look at the collar. That collar alone. And by the way, when I bought it, um, I didn't even try it on. I just did what I just showed you. I just did that. Just hold it up. And I just loved it enough that I was like, so I just eyeballed it. And look at that. Look at the way the sleeves are two different colours. It, oh, that is, oh God, I love it. Yeah, I really like that. I'm really feeling that um, cut, that silhouette, something that just is semi-cropped, if that makes any sense, but has a boxier fit to it. Um, I also have one that I have from Topshop right here, and that to me ticks off that box as well. I'm gonna show it to you. And the reason why I'm picking these kind of boxier shapes is because I think they look really nice with like the right sort of dress you could just wear over it or skirt over it. It strikes that balance between casual um, while still feeling a little bit structured as well. So I have this one. Um, I actually wished I went a size smaller in this one. So it's a little bit oversized for the look that I was going for, but that's fine. I'm still going to keep it. This is part of a collaboration that I'm doing with Topshop. Um, so this piece was gifted to me. I think the only thing is I wish I went a size down, but I know I picked this size because I might because of my arms. I just didn't want it to arrive and it to look like that. Contrasted buttons. I love these outside flat pockets and this collar. It kind of has a sort of Miu Miu Prada esque vibe to it, like wearing this just the way it is and just to layer it over any pieces that you've already got. So sticking with outerwear pieces, I have another one which is a fantastic, it's basically a blazer, but it is in the form of a denim jacket. This is a vintage piece that I found. I'm showing you the back of it. What's, what good does that do? But I'm gonna just show you this on in its, um, its men's, of course, it's a men's jacket. It's got inside, it's got four inside pockets. I love it. I love this thing. 
this is just so good. It's yeah, and it's men's. That's what makes me love it even more. So the fact that it's a fact that it is lightweight piece as well to wear to me during the springtime, and this is an essential for my wearing during the, like for a capsule wardrobe. Um, I just love everything about this jacket. Again, it's got a kind of retro nod to it, hasn't it? It looks like something that a man from the seventies wore. This is just beautiful. Look at the details on this. I, I love this piece so so much anyway so yeah so this is another piece to me I could just wear this with a t-shirt underneath it's just great it's just and it's cut it's cut absolutely perfectly but I think the point I'm trying to make is that a good blazer is perfect in the right material I would suggest definitely looking into investing in a nice light lighter weight blazer obviously you can get like cotton ones there's loads of options available again I'll link some of my favorites below or put them on the screen so you can at least get an idea of what I'm thinking of um, trench coats as well you know how I feel about trench coats and I'll just show you on repeat this is one of my favorites ever that I ever found from Beacon's Closet um, it is a suede trench coat, so it's quite a heavy material for spring, but I think it's still appropriate for spring, actually. But it's just a bit too much to wear like a teddy coat, um, and you want to just wear something like, or a camel coat. Anyway, watch this space on Instagram, and you'll see me wearing it. That was me just giving you an insight into my brain and how it works. I've worn this so many times, and it's one of those things that you guys have seen on me all the time. It is one of my, it's like I said, it's my favorite trench coat that I've ever found. And I think that a trench is hopefully through me talking about and showing you, demonstrating with this one, just to say that a trench truly is your investment piece. And yes, it is a spring capsule piece essential. And I think that it's also an essential if this is your aesthetic, this is your vibe, then you're just gonna rock it. Don't go for anything like the beiges that you see around. You mean, yes, you can, but I don't know. Why not break out of that for once? You know, flip an egg, for God's sake. You know, why do you always have to go, for, you know, you think of trench coats and you think of beige, right? If somebody says trench coats or you read the words trench coats, do not tell me that the color you don't think of immediately is beige. So go against that, for goodness sakes. That to me just suggests instantly there's too many of them around. Go for like something that's like a different color. I mean, I have that blue one because I like that cornflower blue on my particular skin tone. Same thing with this. I love this orange trench coat. You guys, I don't even need to tell you about this. Last week's video, I was styling it for you and showed you. Um, for you, the purpose of me actually trying this on is just to say, oh God, it's just to say, Break away from the typical beige and go for some interesting, even if it's just a navy, you know, because navy is really, I think, a really sort of, it's a dark but a wearable color for the spring season. Beige is considered a neutral, but to me, navy is a neutral. This cornflower blue trench is my neutral. So it really is about your own style, your skin tone. Pick something that flatters it, and then that will become your neutral shoes i picked three categories that to me are really nice tight concise um pieces to consider for spring one is a strappy type of sandal the another one is a good sneaker and the third is a good ankle boot so let's go with the sneaker first now um this probably is going to be the part where everyone's going to be like i'm going to throw up because you're going to about to see you're about to see the balenciaga sneaker but i think for this spring season the reason why the reason why i included sneakers is because it doesn't have to be a, a dad sneaker it can be just a sneaker like a converse sneaker for example um this these i've had for forever and as soon as they wear out i just turn around and get another pair because these are not going anywhere as far as I'm concerned. These are beyond um, trend. Ow, what is that? Something just pricked me in my foot. I'm barefoot right now. Anyway, these are, to me, are trendless, a good Converse sneaker. They aren't going anywhere. And I always find like, the more beat up they are, the better they are and the high tops, because I just think they just look more boyish um, as a high top. And I contrast these all summer um, and springtime with dresses. That's that's my jam. That's how I like to wear them. So sneakers. You pick whatever you want. These are Michaels, but I've got these as well. I've got my own. So you could pick something like these Adidas. I like old school looking sneakers because to me, they kind of, I don't know, just feel more sort of trend less, if that makes any sense. They just sort of stand the test of time. They just kind of like have a cool vibe to them. So a good Adidas Gazelle. These are a good version as well to try. Um, and then for dad sneakers, um, you could obviously get a pair of Balenciagas as well. I do have these as white. Yes, I know. Kill me. Yes 
kill me but I have been loving wearing these uh, I don't post them too much on my Instagram mostly on my Instagram stories like you see me walking around I tend to be in one of these either these ones or the white ones um, I ended up just falling in love with them obviously not everyone's cup of tea so you don't have to go down this route and there are so many versions of this at so many different price points now so you don't obviously have to be like me and get these ones um, you can obviously go for any of the ones I'm showing you on the screen right now because there are some bloody ass good ones out right now so choose your poison choose it based on whatever you prefer because that's what fashion is about it's whatever you like and that's all that matters there are some new in things that i have and i'm trying not to show those because i want to save that for another video maybe it's going to be next week maybe anyway thumbs up or comment if you want me to do that as the very next video after this one it's just sharing with you my new in pieces because yeah they are they are here let's put it that way and then moving on to um strappy sandals these are something to get when it's really you know winter is truly over and it is full-on spring and you're starting to get those nice temperatures maybe even like around easter time i went with these gorgeous um sandals that i found on zara's website recently and i think these are absolutely fantastic they're so good i was actually looking at the versions by by far and just lots of versions you can get this from the row by far and just so many other brands are doing these um this kind of category of, of sandals so now you can see these are gorgeous i really like these and i love that square toed off front there that to me is what kind of makes it feel a little bit more expensive than what it actually is what i've noticed is that this is a um silhouette that you have seen from last season because uh last year i bought these ones these are the la lock is it do you pronounce it as lock l-o-q but i got these fantastic sandals last year again strappy even lower heel so these are really like walk around the city wearable got these last year and i felt really kind of feminine but it feels contemporary at the same time and even with these jeans right just to wear like these for example with them i think that would look so good together i think it's smart enough some of them to be able to wear in a certain office environment depending on the office environment you have but you could certainly wear them on the weekends during the day so either of those shoes wear them for the evening out as well i can't believe i forgot to show you these but speaking of strappy sandals i just had to throw these in i got these last year these are Celine strappy sandals and look these are beautiful so good these are um, in the days of Phoebe Philo let's just stop pause have a moment of silence for her departure I mean they are the definition of a strappy sandal but anyway that's just another example for you of just like the the strappy heel sandal because I can easily I'm telling you, I feel like these kind of sandals, these categories, they are made to wear with denim. They really are. Anyway, had to put those in for you. <laughs> okay, and so my last category for a capsule wardrobe in terms of footwear. Oh God, everything looks a bit of a mess there. You don't want to see that, do you? No, 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 you don't need to see that. Obviously, this needs no introduction, but the good old Ganny boot. These are a pair that I've got, what, it's been over a year now. I've had these like a year and a half. Croc brown, the yellow stitching, squared off toe, Cuban heel tick 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 you know everything that i would want on that checkbox and that slight western nod not even slight it is a western nod which we've been seeing like as a trend that's been going on for the past year or so and that shows no signs of abating but for me as you lot og followers you know western to me is something that i've always loved for years i own vintage cowboy boots that i still wear to this day i got these because i love a good white ankle boot great boots in my opinion for my spring capsule wardrobe um, in terms of an ankle boot I would recommend a pair to you but again you have to be on board with that kind of Western vibe but if you're not that's fine you, know, you can just choose something that you think is best suited that you're most likely to wear do you like the idea of wearing um, grunge styles let's put it that way because if you do then in your spring capsule wardrobe a Doc Martin boot is an absolute must me i would say yes to that question because i own these doc martins i've owned doc martins all my life since growing up in london a legit category in my life not even in my wardrobe in my life 
So I got these, I think these are called the Jadens. They have the double platform. Oh, I love, oh. Anyway, I've just been trying to like really break them in. They still look pretty brand new. Look at that, yeah, they look so brand new. I, yeah, I gotta work on that. Where these like to grunge up any of my outfits and they do it perfectly. Like I just contrast this with like a flowy floral dress. That is the ultimate way to wear something like these. And that, to me that looks so badass. But then you could also wear them with a pair of like skinny jeans and just like top this off. Oh god, you know what I mean? Look, hold on. Look. <laughs> it wouldn't be this trench though. I would not go with this trench. It would be um, a bigger trench, but something that's really flowy. And then you put this. See, look! You got this on. And you got like the bag that I'm thinking about. White t shirt here. You got this. And you got like a trench on. Oh god. This is like easy casual spring dressing. Oh, it really is. But you see how I'm trying to show you pieces that you can like just create outfits on the fly with. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the outerwear as well. <laughs> good dress and a good skirt. I like the shorter dresses or you can get like the longer flowy maxi dresses. I like both categories and I toggle between both. For the ditzy shorter version, I love this one from Veronica Beard. I got it last season and like the sleeves kind of balloon out and the material is so lightweight that as you're walking, like the sleeves kind of billow in the breeze. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pair that dress plus this Doc Martin and just like, you know, walking down the road and you just got that on. It just, oh, that looks so flipping good. And just have like maybe a jacket over it. <sighs> calm down, Karen, just calm down. I think the only other thing that I would have as a common thread um, is uh, in terms of what will help you to winterize a lot of these pieces is a skinny polo neck. That's something that I've always loved to do. And outside of that, you've got the skirt. I personally think it's nice to invest in the satin skirts. I think it's a, it's something that you are seeing trend, flashback to the 90s, but um, it was also around during the last spring and summer as well, and it's still going strong. Um, these are my two from Realization Par that I absolutely adore. You've probably seen these all over the internet, especially the leopard print one, but it is, it's beautiful on, um, and the daisy print one. And I wore this one a lot, and this one when I was on holiday. So these are good vacation pieces. They're as lightweight as a feather, and you just roll them up, pack them, and they don't feel like anything. A solid color, this one is from Topshop. For shits and giggles, let's just see. Oh, you know, you know what? I would do it together. Oh no! I want this. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying to you before, take your knit that you've already got. This is God. Funnily, this happens to be from Topshop as well. Um, this is not sponsored, but this slouchy knit, and then team it with that. This is, I would so do this. I know it's bright colours. Pick the colours that you like to go together. Again, if you don't know about how to put the colors together, I will link still below the video on how to mix colors. It's been so helpful to so many of you, so I continue to link it below. I just wanted to come on here and give you some ideas on some really simple pieces for your spring capsule wardrobe, and also give you a little bit of a hint about what I will be wearing for mine. That is my lot, as I like to say. Um, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you in any little way, and do subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I feel like when I talk to you lot, I come up with like in, like outfit ideas, and I end up pulling it on my Instagram. Anyway, um, I'd love to talk to you over there between this Friday and next Friday. Um, I think that is everything I wanted to say and I will see you guys next week, Friday. And have a good one. I hope it's kind of getting slightly warm or at least feels springy where you are. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Um, if you follow me on Instagram stories, you're already so sure Miss. <laughs> <laughs> but I will put on the screen um, where that out the <laughs> I'll put on the screen um, anyway I'll put on the screen <laughs> what am I gonna fucking put on the screen <laughs> sorry the house um, but yeah but yeah this is an extra what okay so the last let's go okay so the <laughs> <laughs> it looks too blown out <gasps> that's the bag oh, you just wear it like this I don't know what to do because I've seen this bag now and I've worn it and I really like it. But it's just, oh God, I don't know. I'm really considering this bag. God, I even wear white nail polish all the time and it's got white pearls. God, listen to how I justify crap. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the
For the record, ain't tryna link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the, for the record.